Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 5, Momentum. The section is 5.C, Impulse. The scenario is a truck has a mass M and initial moves with a speed velocity not. Consider two cases. The truck makes a gentle stop and the truck makes an emergency stop. A gentle stop could be think about as the delta T is 10 seconds. He's taking a longer time to stop. Emergency stop takes a short amount of time. So you could say T equals to two seconds. Here, you're going to put the initial momentum. How would that look like? Then the impulse, then the truck's final momentum. Remember, the impulse is defined as final minus initial. So if you add the initial to the other side, it will look something like this. Truck initial plus impulse, that would be equal to the final momentum. Impulse, think about that as a force applied will, can change. Okay, let's take a look here. The first one is a gentle stop, so it took a long time. This area is going to represent the truck's initial momentum. So let's say it has a unit here of six. Good. For the emergency stop, I'm going to also use the same amount because its initial speed is the same thing. It's the V naught. The impulse. Let's say the impulse here, the force, is going to be in the positive direction. No. Remember, the force has to be opposite to it for it to stop. So it has to be on the bottom. The time here is a gentle stop, so it's going to take a long time. In this case, the impulse is, is going to stop, but now it's going to be this time, right? The time is shorter, so it has to be longer. Let me explain, because in here, the final has to be zero. Notice the final here has to be zero because it all stops. So think about the area. It has the same initial here, the impulse changes it so that the final momentum is flat it's at rest here the fact that the it's a short amount of time but it has to stop it to zero it has to have a greater force okay so this should give you better insights on how impulse affects the final momentum and the amount of impulse that you need to affect the final momentum. And again, this has to be negative because you're trying to get it to zero, okay? Now, let's take a look in the argumentation. The argumentation allows us to explore um, the impulse a little bit more. Let's take a look. A car company tests its safety features by crashing a car into the barrier to test the car are the same shape and size but move at different speeds and have different masses. Assume that the barrier are identical and exerts the same amount of force. But and remember, the object is going to be at rest at the end. Okay, so it's this same idea. So you're going to rank the time the car it takes to stop applied um, at a same constant force and you want to look for the longest time and the shortest time okay before you do this i would like you to consider uh, this equation okay and we could work through some deviations here all right so we want to know its final velocity and but we know its final velocity zero do you see that here i could make i could zoom this in here okay the final velocity is going to be zero so this is going to be zero okay it should look something like this all right um like this impulse is equal to force times delta t equals to this but we don't even need impulse we just need force all right um good so you have force is equal to delta t equals to um equals to negative mv you have a velocity you have a mass um, and you want to know its time, so we want to solve for t. So get f and divide it over. There you go. You are done. That's it. That's all you need. You need to know its delta t can be equal to negative mv over f. And you could ignore the negative because of 
direction. Okay, it's just part of its velocity. So, but notice that it identif it exerts the same force. Okay, it exerts the same force. So all these have the same force. So technically, this can disappear, and you would only look at that. All right. Okay. So now you could give it your best try. Hopefully, this deviation helped you with it. And remember, there's a delta. There's really an F down here, but the F are the same. All right. Let's go over it now. The final momentum of each car is the same, so the change in momentum of the car depends on its initial of the car. That's the reason why the F, the um, 1 half mv final squared disappeared. The initial of the car is calculated by mass times the velocity. Okay, Mass times velocity, so I did it for the first one. You got 30,000 Newton times meters. The second one, 2,000 Newton meter times meter. Third one, 30,000 Newton meter. And the fourth one, 40,000 Newton meter. Okay. This you should already seen before. I worked through the de deviation. I wanted you to understand that the car with the larger initial momentum, therefore, it will take the longest time to stop because the net force applied to the barrier is the same for all cases. So the impulse is going the, because the Fs are the same, okay? Remember this deviation I showed right there? Remember the F is the same, so I could rank it like this. So the 40,000 goes first over F, then it's 30,000 over F, then it's 30,000 over F, then it's 2,000 over F. But remember the Fs are all the same, so, if you have it like this, it would be valid. Okay, that would be the same exact thing. Okay, so in short, the time it takes for it to slow down depends on the initial momentum if the force is the same. So here you could rank it. I rank it down here, but I can give you the letters above here, which is going to be D is greater than A, which is equal to C, which is greater than B. It's right there. Okay, good. So there you go. Um, if you're done, go ahead. I'm just going to give you some a little bit more notes here. Um, this is the force times um, the t graph and notice the area the area here a force acting on an object may vary over time the impulse is the area under the curve versus time curve you could always think about it as the average force because it's the average force would just be the horizontal distance you could see it by the dash line here given the same impulse to the object in that time interval delta t as the real time vary force describes okay so there you go you should see now how Impulse, initial momentum can affect final momentum. Likewise, likewise, you could also think about impulse as if I subtract this, right? So if I have this, subtract this, I would get the impulse, okay? So these can change again because of this equation, all right? But there you go. Those are all your solutions for 5C.